Baker and Simon joins us live from Westminster. A very good afternoon to you. Afternoon. Uh, inevitably, uh, and perhaps they've got a fair grievance, the unions are worried this will lead to more unfair dismissals. Do they need to worry about anything in your view? No, I don't think they do. And I think it's very important to point out that no employer is going to want to get rid of good or even average staff. It's a, a very, very difficult thing to employ um, good people. There's a long training process that most employers will go through. So really the, the sacking of staff is the absolute last resort. It's the last thing that the employer wants. Yeah, you say that never happens, but there must be occasions where pretty much on the whim of a boss, particularly at smaller businesses where there aren't the big HR departments, it must happen. No, I don't think it does. And I think particularly in smaller businesses, actually, I think it's less likely to happen because in a small business, if you've got maybe five or six or seven employees, each one of those employees is absolutely key to the business. And the last thing that you want is for them to just, is, is to have to get rid of them or to just push them out the door so for some reason. Forgive me for interrupting, but you, you almost sound as if you can't envisage a situation where there is ever a case for an unfair dismissal tribunal. I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are cases, but what I, what I think is, is that in those situations, yes, of course, you have to have some recourse. But let's not been a situation where we've got nearly a quarter of a million cases a year um, coming before em employment tri tribunals, a 50% increase over previous year. You can't possibly argue that there's been a 50% increase in unfairness towards staff. I mean, is it your view then that we've got a, a generation of opportunistic employees who feel a, feel a chance to make some cash? Absolutely. And I think the reason is, is that there is no downside for the employee to go to an employment tribunal. It doesn't cost them anything. There's no win, no fee solicitors. But from the employer's point of view, particularly a small employer, um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort and detracts from your business. Well, now the employee, of course, will have to pay a, a fee, won't they, if, want, if they want to initiate proceedings. Simon Dolan, that's all we've got time for, but thanks very much indeed. Uh, coming up in the next hour, Bolton & Co. with Adam and Sarah. They're going to be discussing the future for B-Sky B.